Hi, Kate here. Welcome to Wellcast. If you've been here before, welcome back. If it's your first time, check out our introductory video. Long story short, it's 100 wellness exercises in 100 days. You in? It doesn't take a lot to make me angry. What about you? Did some schmuck cut you off on the freeway? Maybe your boyfriend accidentally shredded that birthday card your grandma sent you. So you freak out, you scream maybe, a vein pops out of your forehead. It happens to everyone. But did you know that anger is actually affecting your physical health? Hey, anger is inevitable, okay? You you can't just stop getting angry. Even the world's most sedate person has uttered a few choice words in traffic. Will that expletive fest really make you feel better? Will punching a wall really calm you down? The answer is no. Sorry, but recent studies have shown that angry reactions are pretty harmful to your physical health. A Yale University study found that people with anger management issues tend to get sick more often. Their anger actually weakens their immune system. The Journal of the National Medical Association added that people who respond negatively to anger are 9% more likely to have a heart attack. Hey, that might not sound like a lot, but come on, it's a heart attack. Every percentage point counts. Other studies have linked anger to everything from coronary disease to high blood pressure. Now that we all know that excessive angry outbursts are bad for you, we're going to teach you how to manage that anger in four simple steps. All you're going to need is that handy dandy well-cast journal, a little bit of time, and a teeny bit of self-awareness. Step one, control your breathing. When something pisses you off, instead of screaming or laying on the horn, Take deep breaths. Spend two to three minutes breathing deeply in through your nose and out through your mouth. Imagine inhaling calm blue air and exhaling that red toxic air. Step two, relax your muscles. Unclench your fists. Make a conscious effort to loosen those shoulders and slump a little. Great posture is awesome, but for now, let those muscles unwind. I promise it'll help. Step three, get it out. Once you're relaxed and breathing deeply, grab your well-cast journal. If it's a road rage thing, obviously please pull over. But when you get a chance, write down exactly what made you angry. Step four, seeking context. It's important to put your anger into context by thinking rationally instead of emotionally. Think about it. Are you going to be angry tomorrow? Eh, Probably. What about a week from now? Maybe. A month? Probably not. A year? I don't think you'll remember, but by examining your anger this way, you can displace yourself from it, and you'll be able to process your anger without letting it take over your life. Let's recap. You need to find a healthy way to process your anger, or else you could run into some really nasty health problems. Remember to relax and breathe evenly, And then work through your anger by writing it down and contextualizing it. We can't promise you won't get angry ever again. But hopefully with this, you found a way to deal with it a little bit better. Tweet us at WatchWellCast. Email us at WatchWellCast at gmail.com. Or leave a comment down below. We'll see you next time.